Ebony and Ivory here. Two major figures of Newark <laughs> in New Jersey. With salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Liz and Junius are friends and neighbors, a sign of their city's recent transformation. They lived in opposite worlds in 1967, when deadly riots kicked off here after police beat up an African-American taxi driver. The National Guard was called in, and five days of violence left 26 people dead and over a thousand injured, mostly from the black community. People felt they were mistreated, humiliated, beaten, beaten down, and they felt there was no other way for, for them to, to respond. The city was left in ruins, but unlike most of her white friends at the time, Liz Del Tufo refused to leave. Three years after the riots, she saw the election of Newark's first African-American mayor. All of his successors have been black, reflecting the new majority of the population. Today, Liz has found hope in her hometown again and proudly shows off its progress, like these new low-income houses. This answered a crying need for good public housing. Uh, the public housing of the 1950s and the deterioration of it uh, was a large cause uh, for the 1967 um, uh, events. While some neighborhoods have been transformed, signs of poverty are still visible. Newark struggles with unemployment, drugs and gun violence. Born and raised here, Anthony Ambrose has seen the police department evolve for the better, with now 78% black and Latino officers. A way to help prevent another wave of riots, like those that shook Ferguson, Missouri in 2014. The community has to have trust, faith-based people have to have trust in you. Block watch groups have to have trust in you. You can't, the day of a riot or a conflict, you can't look to start all this. So I think from where we were in 1967 to where we are today, uh, we, we've made incredible strides. The next step, economic development and bringing in a new, richer population. Realtors are already on the hunt for millennials priced out of nearby New York. In downtown, Newark is putting on its best face, trying to seduce.